Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about an operating system that is Ubuntu based. It uses the XFCE desktop that is the latest and greatest of it. It's a dark themed. Um, it uses the latest hardware enforced edged kernel. It does not have any snaps or flat packs in it. It uses the latest dev version of Firefox from Mozilla's official repositories. It uses a Calamari's installer to install it. A drop down terminal and it has better virtual box support meaning that it does auto resize display to match the host resolution and access shared folders from the live system as well so it's optimized so if you load it into a vm it's going to give you the true vm experience so uh and that operating system is zinc os Okay, and so here's what you're greeted with. This is the desktop. As you can see, it uses the XFCE desktop environment uh, with your panel at the top with your applications and stuff here. So, but first, before that, let's go take a look at their web page and show you exactly how to how to get this. So we're gonna do in here the search for Zinc Z I N C O S, and it can be found here at the Zinc twenty two dot o four which is right here. Um, as you see, as you can see, this is where you know, the information, what the features are available. We got a video on it. And right here is where you download it. Um, if you download it and install, and there is a problem with the QT5 apps not ex being themed appropriately, then you can simply run this wget command in here and it should fix your situations. Also, they have their donate button here um, where they're asking for $9. I'm sure you could change that to whatever value it is that you'd like to donate, but either way, please support them. Uh, donate it because I'm gonna tell you right now, I've peeked at it already and uh, this distribution, as far as XFCE con is concerned, is one of, one of my favorite ones I've run across already because uh, one, uh, it comes with the dark theme already set up for you out of the box Two, it automatically defaults to the 920 by 1080p interface already out of the box i did not have to do it it did it all of itself because normally every time you install you have to go in set your display settings first and then go to work right this one automatically detected the capability of your hardware and did it right away so it is pretty pretty doggone sweet it's just beautifully well done honest to goodness i mean let's take a look at the top bar and, and that in and of itself will show you one the xfce is the new latest and greatest xfce out there um you have uh you have the application on the left hand side in the center is your date and time obviously then on the right hand side is your system tray along with some other auto start applications uh, one of them is to turn off your monitor uh, another one here is to kill uh, an application. So say you're doing something, let's open up the home folder. As you can see, it goes right there to your file manager. Uh, and you need to kill it because for some reason the process froze. Hardly ever happens anymore, but should it happen, you just click on this, you get your skull and crossbones, you go over to where a file is at underneath it, click it, and boom, it kills it right away. Just automatically kills the thing. That's pretty cool. It uses the standard synaptic manager. Um, let's go ahead and enter my strong and complicated password. Oh, that's an added bonus too right there that I did not even realize was in it. They have implemented the Nala package manager, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's wanting to do some updates. Um, a lot of updates, <laughs> uh, apparently. I'm not going to do the updates, but this is a look at Nala right here. Uh, Nala is a, I've done a video on it, so um, I'll link it in the video as well. Uh, but you could, you, it's, it's a beautiful package manager. It just really cleans up the synaptic package manager and makes it very presentable and beautiful with the, uh, with the colorization of text, as well as um, breaking it up into different segments. 
like it's going to be installing this it's going to be upgrading these and down here you have your interaction box which will be a summary and then of course what you want to do i'm gonna hit no to to get out of that and there we go we press any key to exit and there you go i mean it that that is beautiful that it's gotten all out of the way like i said these people have spared nothing they have put everything in it that needs to be in it to make it beautiful it is a hundred percent out of the box little to absolutely no work to set up to make it a a beautiful riced and efficient operating system and then of course as you can see next to that they've got the um restart the xfce desktop panel widget and then they have actual caffeine already installed so you enable this you hit activate and now it won't go to sleep it basically stops your computer from going to sleep it's a very nice widget i've used it since it come out uh it is awesome uh, i enjoy caffeine a lot then of course we're going to deactivate it and then you've got your system monitor right here if you click on it it tells you what you know what you're going to do what you got going on stuff like that you got your network monitor right here uh, which is part of your system monitor oh in the front here this is your your wi-fi monitor here like when you hover over it uh, see, this is your Wi-Fi, uh, should you have Wi-Fi. It's also got your type of network connection, which is, you know, connected by cable. Your notifications right here. You can set do not disturb. And, of course, you'll have notifications if you have any there. Also, your battery status indicator, your volume control for both mic and that. And, of course, your power session right here. So you can log, log out, do all that good stuff. Now, let's take a look at the applications that are actually installed here. So, oh, I hit Z on accident, my bad. So here you have for, under your favorites, you've got Firefox File Manager, which is going to be probably Thunar, I'm assuming. It is Thunar, yeah, which I, I use. I like Thunar a lot. Um, uh, your terminal emulator is gonna be XFCE Terminal, no doubt, I'm sure, is probably what that's gonna be. And yep, that's exactly what we're looking at um then you have your settings manager which is your standard settings manager which you can adjust your appearance your app image launch set it's got app image launcher in here which is for your app images how you can do them i wonder if it has flat seal in here uh probably the under some other applications under the other applications button uh, but flat seal is a manager for flat packs as well so, I mean, this is where you can adjust your QT5 settings, your screen saver, your window manager, your XFCE terminal settings, all that good stuff are all in here. All your entire settings are right here. So, so there's that. And then the synaptic package manager for accessories. You have app finder, caffeine, caffeine indicator, which is what is in your tray, catfish file search, clipboard. They got all the usual XFCE apps involved that you would normally find in here I like your file manager which is like i said thunar uh under development they've got genie and meld graphics you have gnu inkscape which are two of the same type programs but they operate just ones i use gnu or gimp much better which is what gnu image manipulation program is which is gimp uh, and over Inkscape, but I could use either one of them. Then, of course, I've got LibreOffice installed, apparently. Risotto Viewer and Shot Well for your shot, uh, for your screenshots. Uh, Internet, they got Firefox, Reminia, Transmissions, you get as far as your torrent transmission, and WPA GUI. Then you have under Multimedia, you have Cheese, Simple Screen Recorder, and VLC, Office. Uh, they've got the full LibreOffice suite installed, Foliate, uh, Atrial to, for your PDF viewer, Calendar, and they even have a dictionary installed as well, and Mark Text. For settings, of course, you've got your additional drivers, your appearance, your app image launch settings. I do not see Flat Seal. That's interesting. They didn't install Flat Seal, but either way, uh, you can install that through your Synaptic Package Manager. Then you have for your system, you have bulk rename, disk usage an analyzer. They've got Gparted HTOP. Let's just go ahead and open that and see what we're using here as far as memory is concerned. Out of four gigs, I'm using... Actually, 900, I'm using one gig. I'm using 937 megabytes. That was a, my CPU that I was looking at, my bad. 
Um, the average CPU usage is about 2%. That's what I was looking at. But as far as memory, I'm using less than a gig, which isn't bad. I mean, uh, it's got a lot going on. It's got several things opened up in the system tray that open up on auto start. So, I mean, but it, it's, it's pretty snappy. I like it. Got system load indicator, uh, K-Disk mark. Uh, you've got the system profiler and benchmark. You got Terminator and, oh, they got Terminator and XFCE terminal installed as well there you go the synaptic package manager and see if i can abort that and see about installing neofetch kind of see how this works so let's go to here and let's search neo see if it's installed oh it's installed okay so let's go open the terminal emulator and type in Oh, my bad. I misspelled it. Yeah, pretty snappy right there. So, yeah, I, this will tell you that it's the XFCE 4.16, which is their newest version out. Uh, it's the default window manager. It's using the Yaru theme, deep blue dark, the Tila budgie dark uh, icons. It's using the default Terminator terminal. Um, and it's based off of the Ubuntu 22.041 LTS. Anyhow, guys, that is a look at Zinc OS. A very well done, I mean, chef's kiss to this uh, Ubuntu remix. Uh, it is completely themed out of the box for you. Uh, it is set up to the dark mode right away. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I could actually see me using this as a daily driver. My difference is, is I would probably install the i3 window manager, but that would require me to go ahead and theme it myself as well, where I could just actually use this right out of the box. It's very usable. I, I really find it enjoyable. So tell me guys what you guys think about this OS. Maybe you use it, maybe you don't use it. If you do use it, tell me what you find of its biggest pluses are. I mean, I'm not, I haven't used Ubuntu in decades to be honest with you, but this actually, when I first installed it and took a look at it initially to kind of just like install it, I was literally stunned at the setup, how easy it was, how fast it was, how it automatically detected screen resolution how it automatically came themed out of the box. You know, I it really impressed the heck out of me. So those are my takes on it. Tell me what you guys think. You guys keep doing what you guys do. Y'all keep on Linux and y'all stay blessed and have a wonderful day.